So I think this is the setup that we're starting with initially. I'm sure there's plenty more wires here. First thing we're going to do is going to have to take off the face plate, foot, face plate completely. I like flipping the bar around just to get it out of the way. And I'm sure I'll be dropping plenty of bolts as we go. I suppose you won't be able to do this because you've got brake cables and whatnot running all up and down the bar, but basic idea, remove the face plate. Face plate comes off. I'm going to remove the bar completely, but for you, bar dangling probably somewhere about like here, so we'll get this guy out of the way. Next piece comes off, clamp to five millimeters. I'm going to remove this piece completely, and this is as far as we'll need to disassemble. There's the bracket we're working with. The face plate, or the, the clamp, is going to end up fitting inside here. Before we do this, though, I'm taking one of the five millimeter bolts we took out and dropping it into place. And from here, end up scratching the paint however you want, what will you bend, flex, push this thing in. Down at the bottom here, both holes are going to need to line up and it should snap right into place. The, the two holes on the face plate here, I ideally would like them to line up, but we can fiddle with that later. Now in doing that, it looks like I lost my 5mm bolt, and we'll see why I want to get in there beforehand, we'll make it easier. So that's our kind of preloaded and set to go. Ideally a 5mm T-handle. It's going to go right through this large hole on the top of the, the fabricated mount. Again, everything is lined up at the bottom. First bolt. Just barely snug to hold things in place. We'll take that second 5mm bolt. Thread it in. There it goes. And tighten to torque spec, probably six to eight newton meters, maybe a little bit more, nice and snug. It's basically how the bracket's gonna load on there. So your bar again will be dangling at this point. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm uh sending you a special faceplate with the uh, with part of the faceplate ground down. If you don't use this, it's not going to clamp with enough force because of some of the extra pieces we're putting in. So make sure you use that one. And if you could, send us back the old one because I stole this off of one of our bikes. You just pick any of the random M4s. Again, I'm lucky that I don't have a bunch of wires running through this thing. It might be a bit more difficult for you. But basic idea at this point, just reassemble. Base plate on. I'm putting the four mils in first. The way I've built this clamp, everything should line up. Next three, uh, next three bolts should be relatively easy. Once you got the first one in. Again, for me, much easier. For you, plenty of wires and cables you're going to be pissed off at right now trying to get everything in. So... I am cheating a little bit. Well, that's the modification you're talking about, huh? Get everything in, and then line up the bar as you would need. Here's kind of the key right here. I end up tightening the two top bolts on the faceplate all the way. No, no equal tension of around back and forth here. We're going to tighten these two all the way. Again, six to eight newton meters is probably what spec is supposed to be, but unless you're going at it with a breaker bar, probably not gonna break it, so nice and snug. Loctite wouldn't be a bad idea if you wanted, but it's totally up to you. Line up the bar. Finish tightening this. 
So the test, if I've done everything correctly and if you've assembled everything correctly, finish tightening these bolts. There we go, nice and snug. Nice and snug. I'll go back through, double check. And then good old fail test. Grab on the base bar, push nice and hard. See if you can get it to fail. If you can, you have to grind away more of that face plate, or I'll send you another one that's ground down quite a bit more. Bottle cage, relatively simple. I'm gonna leave these uh, these bolts in here. I've got a X Lab torpedo for you that should work just fine. Um, bracket's pretty solid. Uh, Threads have already been tapped into the aluminum. This is a relatively inexpensive piece of aluminum from the hardware store that I personally tap, so without any big fancy CNC machines, I suppose there is a chance the threads could blow. So maybe a little bit of Loctite in the threads before I put them in, and just snug enough that the bottle cage doesn't move around. Worst comes to it, as you're tightening down, if the threads blow out completely, no biggie. If we could take a shot of the underside here. There is plenty of thread still poking out. You can get a nut on the back side there or just find a longer bolt and a nut to go on the bottom side there. These are M4 bolts. They're the same standard brazon bolts that would end up going down here on the frame. Um, any of the regular water bottle brazon bolts will work just fine. So. I haven't left a whole lot of fore aft movement in this thing. If it's totally off, I suppose you could just punch a couple new holes, even without tapping it, and just throw some bolts in there. So that should be it. Give us a call, email, always. If you got any questions, let me know how things turn out.